Hey guys, this is Tareth from 2 Plus 2 and I'm making a tutorial video for Table Ninja FT. I'm going to start by giving you guys a demo of what playing with Table Ninja FT is like. So I'm going to open up some tables, play a little poker, and show you how I use the program. And then after that I'm going to go ahead and do a little tutorial of how to set up the exact configuration that I use in this video so that you guys can use Table Ninja FT in your own games and customize it as you see fit. So I'm going to start by trying to give you guys a sense of what playing with Table Ninja FT is like. To begin with, I'm going to open a bunch of cash tables, and the first thing you notice is as soon as I open a table, Table Ninja FT has automatically bought me in for the maximum and seated me. And this makes opening a whole bunch of tables really easy. I can just go through the list of open tables here, join them one by one, and uh, you know I can open a lot of tables this way very quickly. I paused the video so I get at 16 tables up so that you guys can really see Table Ninja in action. Now one of the first things you can notice is that as soon as it became my turn at this table, Table Ninja had automatically put 75 cents into the bet box. This is Table Ninja's default bet feature. I have it set so that anytime it's my turn pre-flop in unraised pots, it'll put 3x plus 1 per limper into the bet box. So as you can see, here it put $3 in, that's 3x plus 1 per limper, here it put 150 in, 3x plus 1 per limper. So this is a great way to really speed up your play by uh, having a lot of your bet amounts automatically put in, and you can specify different bet amounts for pre-flop, post-flop, uh, three-betting, you name it. So this is a really powerful tool that will make multi-tabling a whole lot easier. Another thing you may have noticed is that as I've been playing, Table Ninja FT is clicking the time bank at all my tables anytime it appears. So here, as I started to time down, Table Ninja FT clicked the time bank for me without me having to lift a finger. This is really great when you're playing a lot of tables because it will really help you avoid timing out. Now, as I'm playing here, I'm uh, acting with my hotkeys. You can notice I'm actually clicking my mouse. So, you know, here if I want to bet, I just hit my bet hotkey and Table Ninja will bet my default bet, which on the flop is 80% uh, of the pot, which is kind of a reasonable C bet size for cash games. Another thing that Table Ninja FT lets you do is it lets you cycle through all your tables. So I can shift through my tables using my Cycle Tables hotkey and look at all my tables. Then if I ever want to uh, just jump back to the table where I've been waiting action the longest, I can use my Cycle to First in Line hotkey. And that'll instantly jump me to the table that I need to act at next. And again, I can just, you know, fold it all the tables I want to using my Fold hotkey. I'll go ahead and open my sixes. And uh, as you can see, this really just makes playing a lot of tables extremely easy. I think almost anyone can learn to you know, play 10 or 15 tables without too much trouble. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. One final feature I thought I'd show off is uh, Table Ninja's Close Tables hotkey. This hotkey will let me close all my tables with a single button. Now, obviously, normally if you were playing, you would wait until you'd set out, you know, wait for the big blind to come around and set out all your tables. But for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and use it right now. And as you can see, Table Ninja FT just closes all my tables, you know, within the space of seconds. So it's a really convenient way to end your sessions quickly and take a little hassle out of your game. So hopefully that gave you guys a taste of what playing with Table Ninja FT is like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you from scratch how you'd set up a configuration just like mine and get started using Table Ninja FT in your everyday games. So without further ado, I'm going to close the program and then go through the install process from scratch. The first time you run Table Ninja FT, you'll need to go through the initial setup process. The first step is to select your language. This is the language that Table Ninja FT will automatically translate our online documentation into using Google Translate. Next, you'll need to select your table layout. As you saw earlier, I was playing Cascaded, so I'll select that. Finally, Table Ninja FT will attempt to automatically detect your configuration. For most people, automatic configuration will succeed, but in rare cases, you may need to configure Table Ninja FT manually. If you do this, a window will pop up with manual configuration instructions. For me, automatic configuration was successful, so I'm going to go ahead and click Start Table Ninja FT and start setting up some features. As you'll notice, when I first click that button, Table Ninja FT will automatically open our online documentation. And this contains some really important information about the required full tilt settings, some system requirements, and a lot of general information just about how the features work. I really encourage you guys to check out our documentation. We spent a lot of time on it, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just start setting up Table Ninja FT's features. 
I'm going to begin by assigning some hotkeys to Fold, Check, Call, and Bet on the Action Hotkeys tab. To assign a hotkey, I can just click in the hotkey text box and press the key or mouse button that I want to assign a hotkey to. I'm going to assign A to Fold, S to Check, D to Call, and F to Bet Raise. I'm also going to assign the Advanced Action Check Fold hotkey. This will click the AA Check Fold check box if I want to fold before it's my turn. I'm going to assign this to my right mouse button, so again I click in the text box and press my right mouse button. Now that we've got some basic hotkeys set up, I'm going to go to the Table Control tab. First I'm going to choose Table and Foreground Mode. This means that any time I use a hotkey, that hotkey action will be sent to the table that is in the foreground or on top of all the other windows, which is extremely convenient for stackers or cascaders. If you're tiling, you might want to try using the Table under Mouse Mode, which will send hotkey actions to the table under your cursor. Next I'm going to set up the Cycle to First in Line hotkey. This hotkey jumps me to the table that has been awaiting action the longest. I use this in the video. And I'm going to set up the Cycle Forwards and Backwards hotkeys, which let me loop through my stack, as you saw earlier on. Finally, I'm going to set up a Set Table Aside hotkey. This hotkey will jump the target table to the location that I specify with the sample window. When I click Save, that saves this location, and now anytime I use this hotkey, it'll instantly jump a table to that location, and if I use it again, it'll jump the table back. This can be very useful if you want to move a table off to the side so that you can watch a particular hand play out. Next, I'm going to go to the Pot Betting tab. This tab lets me set up my default bets. I'm going to be using the 3 Big Blind plus 1 Big Blind per Limper option, and I'm also going to set a custom 3-bet amount for raised pots, and I'm going to 3-bet to 110%. Then for my post-flop default bets, I'm going to use 80% on the flop, 70% on the turn, and 60% on the river. Finally, I'm going to turn on round all pot bets to the nearest big blind, so that the pot math doesn't result in me betting awkward amounts, like $2.54. Next, I'm going to go to the Fixed Bets tab and create an all-in hotkey, and I'm going to check the Automatically Click Bet button box, which means that when I press this hotkey, it'll instantly set my bet amount to an all-in bet, and then click the bet button and make that bet. Next I'm going to go to the opening and closing tab, and I'm going to turn on automatically take a seat and automatically handle the buy-in pop-up. These features control Table Ninja's automatic cash game buy-in, which means that every time you open a table you'll automatically be seated and bought in for whatever your buy-in settings are configured to in full tilt. Earlier in the video I had these on, and that was what enabled me to just double-click a table in the lobby and instantly be seated and bought in. I'm also going to turn on the Automatically Handle Tournament Registration pop-up, and automatically click I'm Ready, and close Tournament Lobby when Tournament opens. For sit-and-go players, these are really useful. It means you can register for tournaments with a single click, and Table Ninja will handle all the pop-ups. It also means every time a tournament opens, Table Ninja will click I'm Ready for you, and finally, it means it'll close all the annoying tournament lobbies as soon as tournaments start. I'm also going to enable the Close All Tables hotkey. And this hotkey was what I used at the end of my play session to close all my tables with a single button. Now I'm going to go to the Annoyances tab, and first you can notice that Automatically Click Time Bank is enabled by default. This is one of the most important features in Table Ninja. This controls the time bank clicking, and I highly recommend that everyone leave this on. I'm also going to turn on the Never Sit Out features. These will cause Table Ninja to automatically click Deal Me In or I'm Back at any table that you happen to sit out at. This is great because it means that if you do happen to time out, Table Ninja will automatically sit you back in, and you won't have to worry about missing a hand. Finally, I'm going to set the Disable Hotkeys toggle. This is a master hotkey that will turn all other hotkeys off. If you push it once, the box will turn red, which means all other hotkeys are disabled. And if you push it again, the box will become green, which means that your hotkeys are now re-enabled. This can be really useful if you want to chat or type in other windows without accidentally hitting any hotkeys. So at this point, we've actually set up all the Table Ninja FT features that I used in my earlier play session, in addition to some features I did not use. So hopefully this shows you that in a matter of minutes, you can set up Table Ninja FT to really help you start multi-tabling more seriously and playing more tables. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope it was helpful to you guys. If you have any feedback on the video, feel free to post on our 2 plus 2 thread or to post on the Table Ninja forums at tnforums.tableninja.com. I really hope this helped people, and thanks for watching, guys.